Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our legendary Ma Teng Tian Only campaign. We pick things back up for episode 21 from turn 105 in the summer season of 215. So, as we hop back in, we are heated up in the south. Our war in the south has officially kicked off. We're going to wipe out these small factions. Actually, attitude is not the best way to look at this. Diplomacy. We're going to wipe out these factions uh, and these here. And then we'll be a true protector of the west. And we'll control all of the west and most of the south as we'll make our final push onto Yuan Shu's old faction, Kingdom of Zhong, very, very soon. So, that's kind of our plan. Let's resume. We have most of our army moved from last turn. Koron's still evacuating. He's occupying one of our precious army slots. He just needs to get onto friendly territory. Coalition members should be friendly. Yep. So we should be able to recall this group. And aside from that, I think everyone has pretty much moved. They need a turn to heal. One more is good enough, and then we can start moving into uh, Shizia's faction here. Aside from them, we need to focus on buildings. I'm going to have to remove a administrator very soon, and I think... I think it might be Jiangyang, actually. Because these two are still very lucrative. Jiangyang doesn't feel that important right now. Because we're about to get Danyang very soon. Alright, so this copper mine needs to go up to 4. It's no rush because we are still many many turns away from getting the tier 5. That's when things really make a big difference, so we're going to wait for that. Uh, Zhang Ke needs to start converting these over and should go tall whenever that's possible. Han Zhong is fine, Ba Xi, Poyang, we can build this. Yeah, it's the income one. We got the 20% discount going already because we got that reform. Yeah, we are not building State Workshop because we're getting pretty much the same effect from their State Workshop. No base income, but the 20% construction cost we can take advantage of until we get it pretty in a nice spot. And then once we get Tier 5 State Workshop, we'll just convert it over. I think I want that base to go up. Same thing here. Don't lie. This is where we're actually downgrading. So I want a state workshop to go all the way to tier 5 um, for corruption reduction reasons. Now, the thing that we have to make note of is it doesn't actually adjacent anything that's ours. So it's not going to return that much. Eventually, we might be holding the rest. Actually, who am I kidding? I don't want to hold the rest. Hmm. In that case, do I really even need that? I could get a level 5, uh, we'll be a good building here. If we just want food, then Xilong supply line would work, 3 base food. If I want, I can get, I can also get a high level school if I want characters to level up faster. We would need a few reforms, that's the difficult part, like I have to divest over here. Minus 10% character salary would increase our income. But this, this is... Mm, yeah, that's, that's rough. That's 15 turns. That's another 10. And then I still want this one. I just don't think we can go the school route here. Maybe we just get rid of this and keep this. Because we have some commerce here. But this at least contributes somewhat, and then we get trade influence from this. We just get rid of this eventually when this gets to a small regional city next turn. And then we'll tear this down. I guess we'll tear this down this turn, and then we'll tear this down again next turn. Yeah, it's a shame, but that's going to be the way things are. Um, that's fine. These passes are fine. That need to go up. That will go up as well. All right, and we still have some money left over. That's okay. That's going to be a fight during the end turn. We did get an interesting... So this can go on um, Talpi, actually. He's still armorless. I could give him a gold one as well. Currently, one of our burn officer has it. We don't have a war axe. But if we do, that's 10 points of satisfaction. So that's a perfect item for him, actually. 
So we'll try to get our hand on a War Axe. We're keeping this empty. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. That's um, all we need to do. We spy action. I think we used up pretty much all the points he had. I can do something like this because he does gain quite a bit every turn. And now that with interference on, it's not going to disrupt us. Where is his army? Lu Jiang? Wait, is he in... Is he in Huang Zhong's army? I mean, we, we wouldn't get Huang Zhong, but like... Oh, he's not. He's right here. Oh, he has one retinue. <laughs> Infantry is in. It wouldn't get us anything. Alright, that's fine. Uh, let's continue. And Shi Xie's main army rotated over to fight us. Ooh. I don't know if retreating will work, because he's attacking us from this direction, so we retreat, we retreat into enemy territory, we can't heal. If I fight, the militias I'm not so worried about. These mounted crossbowmen are a little bit scary, and our generals are a little bit way too low health. We got out of that situation, but Meng Huo is coming out to fight us, which is what we expected and what we want to happen, because we can kite them all day long. And any items we might get from them? I guess there's a foreman here that we would want, but we would have to execute him, which I'm open to do now, because we're, we're, we're about to end their faction, so they're going to all die anyways. Nanman faction generals will not join any of the Han faction, so... It's not like we'll see them again, so let's just start battle. Alrighty, very good weather. Um, reinforcement army is the garrison army. We could guerrilla deploy and kill them off. That's a possibility. And then we can kite with the other force. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, why not? Um, the thing is, these have to be on this side then we can't take advantage of them. Or we can take advantage of them a bit later. Because we can lead them over here as well. Yeah, we can do that. The generals can... Uh, they should stay on this side. So we'll do something like this. Where we call them one. The range... Make sure we can start hitting them from the beginning. Yeah, that's a little aggressive, but I think we can handle it. We just have to kite really well. And then these can be call three. We can even lead them from the other direction. This adds a little bit more work when we kite, but it's probably more effective. That way, whatever shield unit they have can't be facing the right way. And then the rest of these folks are going to be holding down the fort in the back here. So the main army at least still would try to come over here. Alright, let's go. Here comes the poor reinforcements. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, poor guys. Look at them. King Meng Huo sent word he needs help. We arrive. King Meng Huo is nowhere to be seen. Okay, they're gonna shoot us very soon. They're gonna get into a hundred meter range, so we gotta kill them. They're coming towards us. We're going to start rotating. Ok, 
conserve some ammo. It's not gonna be a full retreat. It's gonna be a slow kite. And we'll round it up over there. Actually, they can stay. The generals don't have to come. Just chill in the forest. Let's call them six. Five can show up from behind and just shoot them while they go towards our other army. And they're going to be just laid out here ready for trapping them here. I'm just worried about the tigers a little bit. They can't release unless it's like a 150 meter range. So if we just keep kiting, then they just can't release the tigers. Oh, by the way, start shooting. getting pulled back towards that group and then we move forward again and we move back oh they released the tigers can we outrun them we can't shoot at them that'd be awkward can we do something like this see it doesn't charge the tigers we're just gonna have to deal with that real quick in melee Oh, we'll run them down. Should be okay. And then we just kite again. There's still a few left. Just a few. I'm gonna spread them out. Two directions better than one against these uh, shield or oh, javelin spear guards. Yeah, they're getting, they're just getting kited over here, stuck in the middle, don't know who to charge. Still a few tigers around being a little disruptive. Oh, right. Boost. Keep forgetting Drogodon can do that. Choke them here. Elephants are even getting taken out. Don't want to take the javelin shots. Back off a little bit. Alright, he's done. Here. You guys are out of ammo, let's just charge him. He doesn't want to fight. I'm not getting dragged into that group. Yeah, want to charge us? Nope. Not letting you join the fight. They're going to get enraged. Oh, 
kite back. There's still a few tigers. Hmm. Can we route him? I'd rather not boost the other two brothers. Okay, leave him alone. Let him route. Out of ammo. Time to charge. Monghua is unbreakable. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. I think the tiger finally got one unit completely. Yeah, they're still chasing us. We can't. Hmm. One, the unit routed. All these dead elephants. Go down, my friend. Got him. Yeah. Alrighty. Liu Liu Chu Liu Bei Sun? Maybe. We have no way of checking their skill uh, their family trees. Cao Xiu. I'll pass on him. Maybe one day he'll get a at least a semi-unique background. Oh, you ran all this way. <laughs> to our friend. Okay. So I guess we can set ourselves up here. We could actually hit that up this turn. Is there a shaman out there? Yep. Surprise! Good luck. 31% capture rate on Sun Quan. Still Han Dong. Still not willing to join. He's is he loyal? No. Hmm. All right, we'll get a second release. Sun Quan got injured. Okay. I think we can turn on them this turn. This is the turn. Bi Meng. Okay. Yeah, they have a few armies around. Let's first wrap up Meng Huo. Get one enemy out here. This should just be a delegate. The end. Ah, oh, we didn't get Meng Huo. We'll execute him. Occupy. There we go. The Naman factions are finally no more. Alright, Li Charles coming back, taking his old job. Where are you, my friend? There you are. 15% from industry. Yeah, that's without this bonus. So he's going to get another 15% when he levels up. Population growth is kind of our main focus. I don't have anything better than that dog. Yeah, unfortunate. Alright, but that kind of takes care of this situation. We can probably keep going. Regional city, get another building slot. Why not? They're still not moving. Launch our attack of Shu. Oh, we have unhappy generals. Okay, hold on. Who is our Lady Me? Okay. 
Would you kindly hold on to a concubine for us? She's still angry. After Lady Me. Keeping you because you're Valon's wife. Not because we need you. I mean... All right, you're fired. I mean, Wang Lan's kid, Wang Su, eventually has a daughter that becomes the Empress of Jin, but we're not going to see that happen in this campaign. So I guess off you go. You don't have any great traits. Yep. If they had kids, I think we'll still keep the kids, so it wouldn't really affect that. They escaped. They actually escaped back, so they actually got the heal. So that's really good. Could have been really bad. Main problem is General's not very healthy. So we're gonna retreat back a little. I didn't recall them, kind of forgot about that. Um, which means we have to just walk through this territory now. We want to get to here. And it looks like we're going to need a few turns of healing, so we're just going to take it slow. We're going to gift our daughter some land. Aw, uh, aren't you happy? Missing four points. Throw you a bone here. Wait, you can have two unique armors? I didn't know you can do that. There we go. They made it. They can actually reinforce. Lady Feng, you were our spy. Cao Cao loves this. Yuan Shao loves this. All the small factions in the cells hate this. Liu Bao's faction, oh, oh, Liu Chong's faction hate this. I'm surprised about that. Alright. That's our war against the first of the three kingdoms. All these ambush armies activate. I'll let them run off. Don't need to take them this turn. We'll be taking the lumber yard. We'll put them into siege, have them come in as reinforcements. We'll fight this probably at the end of the episode. This fight might be more interesting right now. We're not favored. But pretty much we have to overcome spearmen. This is a kind of an interesting fight because we don't have any range. And we're just doing this on the strength of our cavalry. And our generals. So let's do this. This would be very interesting actually. Alright, so livestock farm map, very open. Farmland map here, very open. That's why we picked this army, but it doesn't mean this is an easy army to command because we don't have any range and we're weak against spears and the enemy has a bunch of spears in these retinue and they also have a bunch of range so we're gonna have to play around with AI behavior a little bit so we're gonna have one group sit here one group sit here and also we gotta use our generals like this right this setup is basically using our generals like we have Sun Ren, we have Li Bu, we have Gan Ning. If we don't use them, it's I don't know what we're doing. You know, why why do we even have this group if we're not gonna use the generals? Do we want any of these? I don't think so. I'd rather have the map really open where we don't have to worry about where we are. And I just wanna pull them. Okay, they don't wanna duel, they don't wanna duel, they don't wanna do. Oh, they wanna duel Sun Ren. They think they can pick on her? 
I, I can kill him. Here. So I need to pull them apart. That's how we can win this. We gotta pull their army into little pieces. We can't take them all on at the same time. I can kill him easily. It'd be better if they wouldn't challenge us. Now, it seems like because they're defenders, they're not even interested in charging me. Which is okay too. Which means I just have to get the surround on them. We might have to break up the armies into pieces of threes. Here. Do you think you can take me? Let's go. Gonna send them over here, send them. Do use your abilities. Oh my god, poison volley. <laughs> I'm not poison volley, hail of arrows. Like, can you imagine this? We just killed 106 on that shot. We should have done better, but like, we should have got closer. But still pretty impressive. I see opening actually. All range. Oh, they're moving. They're just not as fast as us, and we never get tired. So we kite. Oh, we got too close. Oh, they pulled back. Oh, I'll take that fight. Other guy? No? He routed. Okay. People, can we kill a little faster? Yes, Tenacity of Steel. This might be a little bit difficult. I think we killed it. I can't tell. No? Wow. We can kill some cavalry too. Come on, use it. Yeah, we killed one. Yeah. Now he's losing. Do I see two cavalry being stupid? Oh, they're shooting. Means we're too close. Alright, we'll wipe out one then. Oh, it's getting close. Come on, gunning. Gunny, come on. Come through, come through. This one's gonna be really close. He has a lot of evasion and damage. Three on one. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh no. Hell of arrow is gone. Oh, they're enraged. Come 
height. She's fine on her horse. Okay, good. He took so much damage, he's routing two. So that worked out. Getting dragged into this fight. They're very smart here. Oh, they're very smart of pulling their units out while having our generals get stuck on another unit. I'm gonna use them as a charging target so I can get out faster. Trying to kill off too many things to micro. Mm. Actually, no, no, no. You stay in combat. You stay in combat. You rear charge. You take care of them. Pull them out. Stay here. Where's Serenit? Actually, no. Just, just kill them. This is easy to kill. Can't touch any of these spear units. Yeah, that worked. The rear charge worked. Took a lot of damage, but we got them. Oh, he's on foot. She's up. Wait. She, no, they're not on foot. Okay, go, 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 go kill. They bounce back. Spear units left now. Or Jamatian. It's not any better. Kill that. Finish the range. We can kill these off. Alright, it's all poor arm. Break through. Come, come, come. That's a side flank. Not braced. Definitely not braced. And then not braced from this way either. Keep running, keep running. Not braced. They, they, they got braced over here, got charge reflected. Oh. away. See militias. Go get him. If they face Lu Bu, we'll charge them from this way, but I don't think they're facing Lu Bu. Gonna take a little bit of microing on each of these units. It's all about directions. Oh, 
outrun them. They didn't really commit to Ibu though. Alright, now we clean them out. Chris cross charge. Alright, let's get another group. Where they're facing. Okay, they're facing this way. It takes a little bit of microing, but we can be spears with cavalry. Alrighty. I would say that's a pretty good ratio there. Even though that's just the garrison wipe, we didn't actually kill this many. Oh, we had a challenge. Oh, that worked well, well. Got some extra money, got some bonuses. The Han Empire factions are every faction that's Han subculture, so. A lot of factions got plus plus a relationship with us, trade influence, replenishment faction wide, that's huge. Gunning got knocked out, that duel was unfortunate. Tenacity of Steel is too strong. Heart Seeker is now active. Give her back her bow. And we might even give her... We'll give her some stats. Extra health plus extra evasion. Hmm. It's really strong, but I don't know if it's good on her. Like, this is probably better on her. And then Moya is made by the, the wife of the couple. It's a husband-wife combo blacksmith. And one made Moya, one made um, Ganjiang over here. And Ganjiang is the husband-made sword, but like, it's paired. It's, it's better stat for her anyways, so just let her keep it. We didn't confirm. There we go. Wow. We're talking about stacks here. So we don't want to get wiped. So we'll give up 2% replenishment to be outside. This gives us the flexibility of retreating. And how did they get this? I traded to him. He got beaten in a war? What? That's weird. All right, this fight will happen uh, very soon. What is this? Oh, I didn't pin this. I can unpin it later. Yeah. Beat them. Beat them. Get rid of that. Get this upgraded. Activate. Siege. All three of them had developed into hating each other. That's just wonderful news. This might be a long siege given there's a... So let's do it slowly. We'll get help very soon. Now 
I will fight that very soon. They can't walk anymore. They're full healed. When did I ping it? I didn't ping anything. That's weird. They're healing. We ran away. If they want to fight us in a trade port, I'm down for that. I might recall them. There's nowhere he can walk to. And they don't get along anymore. So the Nama expedition is over. It'll be filtered into two other armies. Or make two armies out of them. I think one army here is enough. I'll still keep them alive. It's helped us. They're gate guarding for us. Alright, we have tons of building, we have tons of money because we actually go back to war. War makes money, what do you know? This is because we suffer devastation here. We're probably going to have to summon an army to take care of um, constant rebellions here, but it'll be worth it. Naman rebels maybe will carry some gold weapons. Eager to see that. Eager to see if any of the Naman generals will become Naman rebels. This, I'm actually interested in continuing to expand. Food. We're going to get a lot of food from Kuai Ji, Huainan. These are all good food commanderies. Hmm, missing private workshop here. Okay, we have a bunch of gold left over. So we could start getting cute with some of our building choices. I think Wudu will remain one of our key commanderies, given that all income helps the silk here, and copper is decently... Like, it's, there's decent income here. It's not that high. Like, honestly, Poyang will do a lot better. So maybe the administrator here won't stay either. So if that's the case, eventually this will get downgraded. So there's no point to upgrade it anymore. Is there anywhere we can upgrade the building to say this and then downgrade it back down? So we're looking for landlocked commanderies like Hanzhong. And we could potentially rush. It'll cost us 9k to rush this and probably another 10k to rush another tier. And then we would want to build this and this. We can rush these next turn. Upgrade this. Too bad we don't have reform for this, but maybe we can get the reform. No, it's not worth it. Because we need two reforms to get to level five, so it's just not worth it. We'll get, we'll just don't do this. We'll just be four. Okay, that's not a bad idea. All right, elsewhere spies, not much to do. We've been boosting trade. He's asked to join army, but they have too many armies, so that's not going to happen. Why don't you ask for another trade boost? And we'll also balance the points. No new recruits. Bong Zhong is still alive. Hmm. Can 
gonna shift some of the points over as well. I might support them if they want to go into a war Why with Nobel later. We could, or Nobel's old faction, we could support them. But I'd rather just go to war with both of them, so let's just continue. Okay, so we did get chased. They sent an army out from their capital to chase our army. It's open field. They have reinforcements. I can't fight this, I don't think so. Not without gunning. Two armies. So we'll just pull away. They might fight the livestock, and then I'll give it to them. Fight. Yeah, they're gonna take the livestock. That's okay. We drew two armies away from their capital. If we can send... Uh, we have nothing close. If we have something close, we can sneak it. Oh, I've got to fight the trade port. Oh, that's okay. We'll just take it this turn. One army can still move. Be vassalized. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm okay with this. I'm just slightly confused. When did we go to war with them? Um, when did we go to war with them? We never went to war with them. Was she at war with one of our... Was she? I don't remember us being at war with them. Sun Huimin. Sun? Sunen? Oh, right, right. She did have kids. No, no, it can't be her kids. She, she's not old enough to have kids. Like, how old is she? She has to be like... Yeah, she's 26. She, it's not her kid. How do we have a Sun kid? Like, we have Kong. We have Kong Rong's kid. Wait, where is she? There she is. I wish they said who the kid is from. Um, but okay. We have her now. Alright, we gotta redeploy our main army. Well, not main army, but Zhuge Liang's army. They left it open. I mean, we can easily rest up in our vassal's place. That's not a big deal. We're just here to distract them. I should have fought this one. This is just a delegate. I don't know why we didn't click it. But it's fine. They can still move this turn. Fire arrow check. We can afford a better weapon for you. Oh, she can do this. Because she has extra... She doesn't have extra melee evasion, but like, this will work very well for her. Wait, why is it showing me a horse that's being used? Okay. Alright, we didn't do this one turn siege. And still... yeah, we can keep sieging. They need help. That's a tough commander to take. So, Druga is going to come help them here. So, who get along with Druga A thief. A little low level. Kong Rong. Okay. Maybe a general that can actually fight? Our 
our wife. Sure. It'll be a powerful range army once they all get precision. Yeah, I can see this working out. Okay. Then, we don't own any land up here except for the temple, so that's where we can recruit. Wei and Ma Dai get along just fine. He's a bandit. We have a burn officer down here. Yeah, but none of them work well with them. Koron's daughter? Or actually, we can use Xu Gong. I mean, we can put the extra stats to work. I would prefer a strategist. No one has reach? <laughs> okay, and no one has fire arrows. Are not the greatest army in the world, but it's gonna have to do. We just need the numbers. To help Lu Bu out, because they have no range. It's not a great army. So both of them can hammer these two down. They can help them next turn. He... Okay, there's an army here. Very strong. Let's see if we can capture them. One more shot. Twenty-two percent. How I can hold on to it? Twenty-two percent is good enough. Um, I mean, fondness. We'll take it. Andon's finally willing to work for us, and we will take him. Shaya. Okay. So the question is what to do here. He it's level eight, so we have to siege for a turn. Uh, we could ambush them. Make them come to the lumber yard, ambush them outside. And just kite out both ways. The bomb arrow is going to be a little bit of an issue in the forest. It's not ideal. Maybe we just take this. And then we team up with them. Take them out. No, I don't want to reduce recruitment. Huh. Probably want to head towards here. Wait, who else leveled up? Oh, our burned officer. Um. We want these two. Give him unbreakable. 
There's two pieces of land here. I don't think he has armies here, so I don't really worry about that. This army is a little concerning. Do I want to follow it, though? Like, who knows where she will land? Can I beat them if we do fall? Yeah, we can. I can't delegate against them in the river, so I have to just follow on land. They healed up. His army retreated back. Only she's injured, so I don't have to care too much about that now. Could be ambushes, so we're going to go really slow and also ambush along the way, too. No fire arrow in this army. No night battle, at least. Yeah, so no fire arrow. Same thing. I mean, they build it up quite nicely. Level 3. We'll make it level 4. And then we can take a trade port on this side. Oh, not without a fight. A lot of range. I think this is beatable. We have fire arrows on these. Alright, we'll end with this fight here. Oh, of course it rains. Um... Can they charge at us, please? Please? Pretty please? If they don't charge at us, we... Um, we can't drag two. Um, if they don't charge us, we rotate to the side, obviously. But I'm hoping for a very foolish charge by a largely ranged army. Nope. Not happening. So these boys will go take off the enemy tower they will go absorb shots oh this is easily winnable because we have these okay all right just take a little bit of planning She's strong. Oh, Tenacity of Steel. That pretty much cancels my plans of challenging them to a duel. You three, get ready from this side. You three, get ready from this side. Please listen, and please shoot the towers. Hey, don't, don't do stupid stuff like this. Don't be this guy. Don't be this guy. It's like, told you to come shoot, and they just chill on the side. Alright, he found his angle. Like, this guy is like, hmm, what angle is it most difficult for me to arc over the hill to make a trick shot on that tower? When I line them up perfectly from that side, they just go like, no, I don't want to shoot that tower. Almost 50. Okay, you guys can be out. He just doesn't want to do it. All right, they're over 50. Get out. Get out. Don't want to do it. Just get out. But even the rain, if it's over 50, it will burn down. It's just slower to get it to 50. And there's going to be these boys on loose formation, absorbing every single shot they have, which is a ton of arrows, but I think we can do it. The magic of 85% range block chance plus missile resistance 50%. So once this burns down, it's going to be these two boys coming up here to get hit. And that's why we recruit two of them. Their job is to take all these ammo and get hit. You want to be facing them, so this is perfect. And you can just see them dumping all their ammo at us.
the, we're not getting shot yet. Can we fix that? There we go. Shoot us. Give us a bath. Give us a shower. Alright, they're out. They did more damage than I thought. We might not be able to take all of this. It's actually Onyx Dragons in the back. Who's their anti- They have one anti-range. Uh, anti-cavalry. Alright, they're all done. Move a little bit closer. Oh, two, two. They have two anti-cavalry. Yeah, finish shooting the crossboats. Why are you guys not facing? See, they don't listen. This is a, this is the problem. All right. If we can just kill off that group, and then that group, the rest we can just charge and kill with ease. Oh, no, 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 they ruined the plan. You really want to do this, my lady? Because I'm very happy to play this game. Yeah, wanna, wanna, wanna play charge? Yeah, I thought so. Are they friends? I mean, who cares? Two strategists. I wanna kill to reduce the morale. But you, you two can go back. Yeah, don't don't break Don't break the rules. Don't come out of your silly little fortress there. Oh no, we took a tower shot. They're firing again. Good. Do not move forward. I won't kill there's another one. There's two more. They're coming. She's taking a bunch of arrows too.
时已尽，无法继续攻击了。Still one more here, and then it's just this one. But that one's already routed once, so it's gonna be easy to route them again. It's mainly these one, this one right here. Once get this one turned white. Alright, we're gonna have to divide this up a little bit smaller groups. Come on, Wu Yao, continue on. 真乃高论，或许应准备一战。All right. They're almost done shooting their ammo. We want to kill the cavalry. They slow down our charge as well. I think we're good to go. Do you have a roar? Are you coming with them? Ha! The Yuzhou soldiers are in retreat. Stop. Once Zhang Xiu gets into position, So they drive open a wedge. And then we cover the two corners. Yeah, we'll take some sh shots. It's okay. Get through the saber militia. All right, there we go. Break formation so they can go a little easier. You two have a job. Charge. Four, get in. You're going here. You're going here. You're going here. Oh, they lit the fire. What? Get out. Keep charging. Go in there and charge. Take this route. Charge that one. Roar. Send it. Dragons. 
Go, 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 go. You two, capture this. Don't over pursue into those wooden sticks. Three, kill the cavalry. Four, charge through that. Keep going, keep going. Alright, tower's ours. Go get them. You two turn around. You get him. You go over here. You go over here. sure they can't fire they roar on the rest of them uh, I don't want to charge into those wooden sticks so we're just gonna let them sit there and shoot us no 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 come fight this one Uh, they wiped out our two marauders. Not marauders, uh, what are those called? These are called hunters, these are called marauders. Yeah, what are the... It's slipping from me for a second. Whatever, they're wiped. It's okay, we want to drag them in so we don't have to fight around that wooden stake. They should have came in a long time ago. We need to do some morale damage to them. Do it. Kill that. He's still alive? Alright, pool. Chase, chase, chase. There we go. You two on that. You two on that. All right, all of you on that one, all of you on this one, and then all of you over here. All right, we won. Ooh. All right, give us victory, please. There we go. Alrighty, so we took down Shizia's well-guarded trade port. I thought it was going to be a free take. But then again, they took this, so that makes sense that they had an army there. And that's going to be a good ending point for us. That took a little longer than I expected. Um, they're still slogging in the Pearl River here. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, but we'll be taking on uh, Tiula's faction uh, coming up next. Going to just grab their farmland, free take. Siege will take a while, so we'll do that last. And meanwhile, he has just a bunch of cities, so it's going to be a slow process. If you can trap them and then we can ambush them, that'd be great. They will take two more turns to get into position, and then we'll be sieging both at the same time after we wipe out their army, hopefully. And that's where we stand. Um, we are also going to wipe them out. And if we look at, I guess, attitude, things are looking better. Um, it was looking pretty grim for a while, but now... That we made our you know presence clear that we're Renshaw's friend. We gave up a bunch of free land, confederated Kunron. Everything's looking a little bit better. And Renshaw's faction or Kingdom of Zhong has shrunken by a lot. They still have a few strong armies. This one's pretty strong. They have two armies over here. I guess one and a half. The other one's not that strong. And I think I think they have one more. Yeah, they have one more right here. This is going to be a tough fight, so I'm trying to gather up the armies before we tackle them. We have two cleaning up the rest of Danyang, and then they probably just go clean up Sun Tzu. I'm kind of fed up with waiting on them. We did get Sun Ren from capturing, but Lu Fan is not being summoned out. If Lu Fan gets summoned out, we want him, so we'll see what happens there. Aside from that, we'll just be eating them up, take the capital, 
Maybe if they can stall them long enough, we can take the capital without too much resistance. And once we get a capital, we can have an imperial court. I'm not sure if Ma Teng will live long enough to see himself crown the emperor. He's 70. If he, so once you hit 70, the rate of death increases. So every 10 years. So 60s is when they first start having a rate of death. And then 70, now he's going to you know, speed up his chance of dying. If he dies, then I guess too sad for our loyalist, the protector of the West. And here comes the most brilliant warrior, Ma Chao, becoming the next emperor. I'm pretty happy with that result as well if that happens. Uh, we'll see what order we get to do things. But hopefully we can make Ma Teng Emperor and make him happy before he dies. So until next time, bye!